Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Frogger games for the GBA. Frogger Advance, the great quest, is a basic platformer with a few extras added to the mix to give a little bit more originality to the game, though it still remains a basic platformer. The original part is that you can throw ice bombs to freeze some enemies into position. In rest you attack enemies with the frog tongue and you can dive underwater, you will have balanced levels of both jumping from platform to platform on land and swimming underwater. There are no boss battles in the game, you just platform for over 3 hours of gameplay. The game is pretty basic and fairly easy to beat. It's good only if you want some casual, pretty repetitive experience, or if you have a kid and want to educate him in gaming without giving him a game like Manhunt 2 or Outlast, that are totally not suited for a kid. Frogger's Adventures 2, The Lost Wand, is a great integration of the old school Frogger mechanic. Basically, they took the Frogger style of gameplay, slapped a story over it and added many sorts of creative levels to spice things up. Here you have to jump from one log to another or similar scenarios of jumping from one platform to another or you have to avoid stuff coming at you. The, you have to avoid enemies. And you get a story too. And three distinct locations. A jungle world, a java world and a snow world. Frogger's Journey, The Forgotten Relic, is an RPG. I know, they made an RPG out of Frogger. It's pretty generic, but hey, it's an RPG made after Frogger. It's crazy. It is similar to the previous one in gameplay, meaning that here too you will have many creative dungeons and sections where you have to jump from one thing to another and avoid stuff, but instead of the game formula in the previous game that was linear, here you get free roam. You can move from one place to another when you wish, just like any other normal RPG. As I said, the game is generic and the game is pretty average, but the simple fact that they made an RPG after Frogger deserves some attention. Frogger's Adventures, Temple of the Frog, is very frustrating. The controls suck and the levels are made extremely difficult on purpose. So if you ever want something really challenging on the GBA, get this game. You're going to headbutt the walls of the asylum in a straitjacket after you finish the game.